Welcome back, everybody, to our Let's Play of Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney on the Nintendo 3DS. We're heading into uh, Phoenix Wright now. We're just about to uh, kind of go back like old times, and uh, we're going to start off with the uh, outlining of the case for the court. By the way, I love what the, uh, the new judge looks like. It's awesome. All right, let's see what this case is all about. Yes, Your Honor. The incident took place on a small freighter moored at a harbor on the River Thames. The freighter was carrying goods away from London. The defendant illegally boarded the ship and tried to steal some of its cargo. But she was discovered by a crew member and captured by the, shi the ship's security guard. So she was caught red-handed. And she violently resisted when found by the crew member. Violently resisted? Indeed, she picked up a steel pipe and hit the crew member on the head. Sounds pretty vicious. So that's the assault she's accused of. And what, and what does the defendant attempt to steal from the freighter? A stuffed toy, Your Honor. Oh boy. It's the Metrop Metropolitan Police mascot, PC Badger. Oh, Nick, I want one! I see that mascot made a career for itself in England. Who would have thought? I think we all have a clear picture of the incident now. The prosecution may begin. The prosecution calls its first witness. Please bring him in. There's something fishy about this trial. And there's something even fishier about my client. There isn't an ounce of expression on her face. I better keep my eyes wide open. Witness, state your name and profession. Okay, that's not what I sounded like. <laughs> a ship is always a risk at every hour, minute, and second. That's where I come in. I am a peacekeeper. The one and only guardian to an otherwise defenseless ship. The name Smiles. Johnny Smiles. <laughs> Security Guard Supreme. What? Johnny Smiles. <laughs> uh, yes, according to the... According to the police report, the witness was patrolling the freighter on the night of the crime. Yeah, I was patrolling the freighter, and my exper expertly trained eyes leave nothing unseen. I'll go blind if he keeps smiling like that. Very well, Mr. Smiles, we would like to hear your testimony. Describe what happened during a night patrol. Yes, sir. Johnny Smiles will reveal all. All right. Here we go. Witness testimony. This is exciting. All right. <laughs> sorry. That night I went on... Uh, sorry. That night I went on patrol as usual. Z-Z-Z-O. My keen ears latched onto some suspicious noises coming from the cargo hold. I sprinted at full speed of the cargo hold, but I was too late to stop the blow. The next moment, I captured the criminal, expertly. Within seconds, I had established there was nothing out of order at the crime scene. Alright. Hmm, and so... The woman you arrested was... It was the defendant, Espella Cantabella, sir. And as per standard patrolling procedure, all lights were on and you saw her clearly. Is that correct, Mr. Smiles? Yes, sir, I'm an expert after all. Huh? Is it just me or did he hesitate before saying that? The defense may cross-examine the witness. Yes, sir! Oh, I'm starting to talk like that guy. Let us see how skilled our visiting barrister is. Hmm, yes, by the way, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Our cross-examination procedure should be the same as anywhere else. But just in case, would you like to have it explained to you? The cross-examination... Nope. I don't need no need. I know how this works. No, thank you. I'm fine. I press the witness on all suspicious statements to gather information, and when there's a contradiction, I present evidence just like I always do. Okay, let's do it, Nick. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. All right, here we go. Oh, it feels so good to get back to this. Oh, this is awesome. All right, here we go. All right, well, I guess we'll start pressing then. Hold it! Um, what's ZZZO? Ah, oh, that's right. It's not something you know, not being a security professional. That's our special jargon. It's how we talk about the time in our trade. Let me get this straight, Mr. Professional. You're using letters to tell the time? See, ZZZO stands for 2220, which is 1020 p.m. Uh, right, so 1020 p.m. That's very accurate. How can you be so sure about the time? Um, well, that's when the TV, that's when the TV show I was watching, the Security Women's TV show. 
I meant to do the rounds at 10pm, but for a pro like me, it's just a guideline. That does sound, doesn't sound very professional. Anyway, I was patrolling the ship like I do every night. Your Honor, may I? What did you miss, Prush, get a flinch? I would like to get the event straight while referring to this crime scene photo. The defendant and the crew member were fighting in the back of the cargo hold, is that correct? Yes, sir, they were fighting right under that emergency light. Hmm, some items are spilling out of the broken crate. Indeed, that crate was broken by the defendant with a steel pipe. Incidentally, the items we could see spilling out are stuffed toys depicting London's own police mascot, PC Badger. I see, the crime scene photo shall be added to the court record. Okay. The witness may continue his testimony. Alright, so let's actually take a look. Where's my court record? I did not look at that. Well, usually for the first testimony. Oh, shoot. I just skipped past it. I got it. Durr. Okay. Uh, crime scene photo. Photo of the cargo hold. Touch details to see more. Hmm. Yeah, usually when we get new evidence like this, it's best to press it's best to present it while it's fresh. All right, let's try that one. All right, I think this is the button. Objection! Yeah! You're saying that there was nothing out of order in the, car the cargo hold. Well, that's a bit funny. Huh? The point is, one of the crates in the cargo hold appears to have been tampered with. Objection! <laughs> ah, that the defendant must have smashed it with the pipe. Nothing odd about it. Please take a look at the crime scene photo. Let me bring this back up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. There's this broken crate where the fight took place, but also... There's another crate here that seems kind of strange, don't you think? Ah! This crate sitting quite a distance away from where the fight took place appears to have been forced open. Isn't this so the sort of thing a security guard should immediately notice? Um, you testified that you established there was nothing out of order at the crime scene. So how come... You didn't notice something so obvious! Yeah, this is awesome! Boom, 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 boom. Oh man. I'm actually getting goosebumps, like literally. Order, order! That's that's certainly a serious oversight. Particularly for someone claiming to be an expert. Objection! Whether the witness is an expert or not, bears no relevance to this case. Sorry about that doorbell, guys. What matters is that he saw the defendant as the victim with a steel pipe. What you just said, I'm afraid I can't let that slide. Oh, it was... Oh, is that UPS? Okay. Uh, excuse me. I'm an expert guard. Focus, thorough, precise. A true professional. To prove it, I will testify once more. You're always dying to know why I ignore that one crate, huh? What? Very well, the winner shall continue his testimony. What excuse do you think I'll come up with, Nick? Who knows? I've got a bad feeling about this, though. What did he actually see? Alright, here we go. Okay. It's only natural that I missed the other crate. The lights in the cargo hold weren't on. But of course I had this. A guard's best friend is his trusty pocket torch. The emergency light was on mine, so it wasn't so dark I couldn't see. I saw that girl stand right in front of the crew member she attacked, and there was no one else in that room. You have Johnny's word for it. Hmm. Saw the girl right in front of the crew member. Do we is do we know if that's confirmed? Medical report. Right in front of the crew member she attacked. 
Landry Lewis reaches back of the head, hit with a long, blunt object. So, a long, blunt object? I mean, that could be, like, something that he would have. Wait a moment, the security company claimed that the lights were on during the patrol. Yes, yes, that's the official procedure, you see. But those who light controls can be such a pain in the... Wait, no, that's not it. I mean, the truth is an expert like me doesn't need to leave these lights to do his work. Not when I've got this. The focus beam of my trusty torch cuts through the darkness like a laser. The witch will refrain from pointing the torch in this direction. Justice may be blind, but I'd rather not be. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Honor. This trusty torch shall be added to the court record's evidence. Smiles always. This is it on patrols covered in chocolate fingerprints. Yeah, because he was eating that. Ew, what is that? What is it, Your Honor? This, this pocket torch is covered in something sticky. Ah, it seems my sweet little buddy's been up to some mischief. Sweet little buddy, do you mean your chocolate? Johnny left sticky fingerprints all over his flashlight. Ah, uh, don't look at me, I'm not touching it. <laughs> the defense may cross examine the witness. <laughs> Just gets right to it. Alright, so yeah, that doesn't sound right. What was the, what, what did he say? Did I miss the other crate? Okay. 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 So the girl was standing right in front of the crew member she attacked. So is, is, is there a point trying to do this to show that she got hit too? I think that's the point that they're trying to show off here. OBJECTION! You're sure the defendant was standing right in front of the crew member? Absolutely. They were facing each other the entire time. Well, that's weird because it clearly contradicts this evidence. What? What do you mean? According to the victim's medical report, the blow is dealt to the back of the head. That's what I thought. The back of the head. Do you understand now? If there were, if they were facing each other, there's no way the victim could have been hit from behind. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna be in love with this soundtrack. Witness, can you offer an explanation for this contradiction? Yes, explain yourself. It's the first I'm hearing of this. Yes, sir. I uh, uh, it's it's strange, isn't it? I'm totally sure they were fighting face to face. I swear there's melting chocolate bar on it. He's gonna get a cavity. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like he's lying, but then. Hey, Nick, look at me. Oh my god! What are you doing, Maya? I was just checking if I could hit the back of your hair while you were facing me. It doesn't seem doable, especially for someone as brutally challenging me. <laughs> How about you keep your dangerous little experiments inside that head of yours, Maya? I kind of like living, thanks. At least we've learned a couple of important things. First, that this witness is unreliable, and second, that the prosecution didn't investigate this case properly. If my gut feeling is right, those... Oh, sorry, there's much more to this case than meets the eye. Now's my chance. What should I do? Plead not guilty or wait and see what happens? We gotta plead not guilty. Your Honor, the defense asserts once more that the defendant, Espella Cantabella, is innocent. What? This is foolishness. Don't mess with Phoenix. <laughs> Just who do you think you are, anyway? Waltzing in here with your ridiculous assumptions. Boulder dash, I say. That's not how it was supposed to be. What did he just say? Not how it was supposed to be? In light of this new development, the court's opinion is that the defendant is no, in no way cleared of suspicion. However, the witness's testimony has been proven unreliable. That's more like it. Looks like I'm starting to win over the judge. Objection! Don't forget that the defendant admits all charges. Surely her guilt is beyond doubt. The defendant is just a schoolgirl. You can't go on her confession alone. So far, we've established only one thing. That Mr. Smiles is neither an expert nor even a reliable witness. I almost said that wrong. <laughs> oh boy. Did he say that? He did. In my long, long six-month career as a security guard, never have my professionalism and expertise been questioned. Isn't six months barely past the probation period? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. You're saying Goldilocks there is innocent. In other words, that she didn't assault anyone. And that they, she didn't steal this toy. Isn't that so, Mr. Lawyer? Alright, we'll be right back with more Professor Lane vs. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney on the 3DS.
stay tuned everyone